What's going on? It's your boy Paley Invasion. This is another episode of Space Pod TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten, 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 ten. I'm here with the one and only Andrew Cole Video, straight out of Duluth, Minnesota. Hey, what's good? How you guys doing? Represent, man. Yeah. Hey. Long drive. And he brought the whole it. squad. You can't see it right now, but oh, he, yeah. he pulled up with the whole squad. You know what I'm saying? And we all here just networking, man, catching a vibe. That's how you do it. So, uh, for the viewers at home, let them know about yourself a little bit. Uh, Andrew Co. Video. That's uh, music videos, graphics. Go by that. Drew, I make a little bit of music. Uh, nice. I get called a bunch of stuff. You know, video director, graphic designer, DJ a little bit. Hell yeah. A little bit of everything. Jack of all trades. Yeah, got to be. Got to nice. stay versatile. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. So how long you been doing that for then? The music videos and the designing and all that? Honestly, uh, my homie CDA... Uh, one of the boys who's with me that was the first music video i ever shot i shot with him i was i want to say 10th grade maybe oh wow and he's been he, uh, he's been making music since probably like ninth grade okay took a little break got back into it yeah. but uh started shooting for homies moved up to duluth uh i literally i was about to quit making videos actually say what yeah, I, was, I was about to start or quit making videos and i met some yeah. uh dude at the skate park his name's rose uh -huh. And he, got, I was just shooting skateboarding clips, and he goes, "Yo, you ever shot a music video?" I was like, "I have." Right. He's like, "How about let's hang out tomorrow and let's shoot one?" I was like, "All right." I was like, "Bet, like, let's just do it." Mm -hmm. Dropped it. Everybody loved it, and I found that juice again for videos. Dude, yeah, you know, I found yeah. that spark, and I found I feel like I found my place. It'd be you know, like that sometimes. Stuff. It's crazy yeah. though. Like anytime someone's like about to give up on something, just at that last second, something just fucking changes everything. It's like a yeah. big shift. Yeah, I was I was really ready to sell my camera and shit. Like mm -hmm. I was like, all right, Damn. I was like, yeah, on to the next, you know. No, I feel you. So what what was the first music video called that you shot? Ah, uh, I'm trying to even remember. No disrespect, is it, is it CDA. On, it's on, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. uh, CDA music. Uh, why? CDA music. Why is what it was called. Okay, that's sweet. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's garbage. I mean, it's. It's rare to me, you know, it's, pre start, it's precious it's a, to me, but it's, it's not great. It's an artifact. Great. It's a relic that you can cherish, you know, look yeah. back on. Like, yeah. I was just watching a documentary. Did you see that documentary with Travis Scott? Yeah, that was super, super good. You remember like when that. he was watching that, when he had, like, 15 people yeah. in the crowd, and he was looking back, he was like, damn. Like, we came from that, and then he's got, like, thousands of people. That's just how you got to see it, man. Like, right. It's just right. an artifact to look back on and study with, you know, just. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, without that, you know, that's a step in the right direction. Right. Without that, you're not where you're at today. Right. So it's all a building process. I mean, right. I get that. And only make moves when your heart's in it. Right. So I can respect that, you know, because with these creative ventures, we're not robots. Right. Yeah. We gotta, all make mistakes. You got to be inspired. But you just got to learn from them and move on, you know. Like, right. All the greats know that. Like, if you haven't failed in life, man, you ain't a great no, you just you just average, you know. And too many people quit when they fail. Mm -hmm. That's a learning. <laughs> Real talk. That's a learning experience. Yep. You know, life's a learning experience. Everything is. That's yeah. how you. That's how you learn. Right. Literally. Right. So if you quit when you failed, you're never gonna see no. what you could have been. No. Yeah. Absolutely. So I feel you on that, man. I like that you're getting out here. And shout out to Rose. Was, yeah, my boy Rose. Yeah. That's man, hell up. yeah. So. uh What's one of the most recent videos you've done that you're pretty proud of then? Uh, me and my boy Didi Grimm from Duluth. He's okay. up here right now. Actually, we've got a show tomorrow. But uh, we just dropped one called Trouble, probably one of his best tracks and one okay. of our best videos we made together. And uh, it's been up about a week now, I think, and people have been loving it. It's been going all over Facebook, Instagram, yeah. going everywhere. You people better wake up from that TV. He not sauce this up, nigga. D the gram, bitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You niggas in trouble. You niggas in trouble. You niggas in trouble. Hey. Nigga, you was a bitch and you know it. These niggas is rats, rodents. This gas is strong, potent. I'm tryna get filthy rich. I'm going through the motion. When your bitch see the ground, she get wet like the ocean. I'm still a purple potion. Plus, I'm off a beam, I'm rolling. Now I'm on their ass. They saying that I'm a bully. But they don't even give a fuck about what really push me. Nigga, I'm a killer. And you done push me. Niggas only got guns, they scared of a whooping. Bitch, I'm the man, just like Boogie. Get it? Boogie, man. I'm so far like that Boogie. Pop out XD in the hoodie. I cannot let no beef get cold. I cannot bend or break no phone. Nigga, how's you tough? Even the toe. After this, they gon' know I'm cold. I got too much sauce, so I can get old. Yo, 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 yo. 
Nice, yeah. nice. So how do you mainly promote then when you when you get a new drop? Like, how do you mainly promote that shit to get it out there to the masses? Yeah, so uh, I'm part of a uh, collective of artists, wonderful family. Okay. We're all over the place, all over the states, all over the world. And uh, we all help each other. You know, mm-hmm. I drop a video. A right. uh, boy over there drops a song. You know, somebody over here does some graphics, got a feature with somebody. We all help each other out. And, you know, that's always the first start. We plan our roots everywhere, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody helps each other out, and that just spreads. You know, new people see it every day. Yep. And uh, obvious things like, uh, you know, just post on social medias, posting, you know, uh, running ads on your Instagram. Yeah, yep. that's one thing you know. that I feel like a lot of kids especially, or not, I guess I shouldn't say kids, people really first getting into the media world, right? they're scared to pay for promotions. Oh, and you they, have to. And they expect numbers with no, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. By, by like tagging people and stuff. Yeah. And I wonder why they would be scared about it. Maybe, I don't know. Get, well, people, the thing is, the thing you gotta is, you got to have a budget. The right. thing is, if you're right. trying to do it, like if you're trying to make a post and then just hope it blows up, without putting any energy or any right. you're up against millions upon oh, yeah. millions of oh, other yeah. artists and people that are really like about their shit and if you're just over here expecting something to happen it's probably not gonna happen no you yeah know? i hear people all the time they're like you know i just made this hit like i swear to god it's a hit mm-hmm. post it right doesn't do numbers and they're like well, like i don't know why this didn't do numbers i said it to all my homies i said and it's like yeah did you send it to any blogs did you Pay for any promotion. Get them. Yeah, did yep. you? That's vital, dude. You that's know what I'm so saying? Vital. It's you got. But that's know. the thing, because your friends aren't always your biggest supporters. Oh, you know, like they'll no. they'll, they'll look. They'll be like, yeah, that was cool, but really, did they even listen to it? Are they going to reshare it? It's not that they're bad people. Right. That's just not their life. Honestly, you know? some of the people who I'd say are fan, the most fans of my work are people I've never even met before. That's a exactly lot of them. right. Yep. That's you exactly know. right. And it will continue to be like that. Right. And everybody else will catch up because you're laying out the pieces of the puzzle right. for those to start tracing. Yeah. They're going to be like, damn, I should have paid attention right. when dude was local. Right. You feel me? Ain't that how it <laughs> always is, though? Before you blow up and shit, they're just like, damn, I wish I would have paid more attention to this guy. And, oh and it's God, all, it comes yeah. with the territory. You yeah, know, yeah. it is what it is. But yeah. as long as you keep pushing. Oh, yeah. We, you know, we good. We want to see more from you. Oh, absolutely. Same with you guys. You guys are killing it. Appreciate oh, it. Yeah, Appreciate we ain't going nowhere, man. Oh, yeah. We really out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's no. how it should be. Dude, I turned this guy into a living meme, man. He's got so many taglines This now. fucking guy. <laughs> we really out here. Or like, Breeze is in the building. Or like, all sorts of <laughs> shit. You already know what's going down. We in Walmart right now. You know what I'm saying? Go and get some snacks. What the? Is that Breeze? Oh, shit. Breeze is in the building. Hey, what's good, y'all? What's That's how you gotta be. You gotta be original about that shit. Like, if you think like, something's dope in your mind, run with that shit. Mm-hmm. You know. The and thing is, I didn't even know I was saying this shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then he started, right. You know, noticing it. And I'm like, that's yeah. just how I talk. So uh-huh. yeah. You know, market yourself and then capitalize on in well, any way you can. Utilize your resources. Because even if mm-hmm. yes, absolutely. You don't even need to pay necessarily. Just utilize your resources. That yeah, ne- like that network is key. So like I do a mixture of like organic promo where I'm like really going out of my way to like send out Snapchats to targeted people and like stuff like that, but also pay for promo too, like absolutely. run ads, you know. Yeah. But if you have the skills to do both, that's where you're really gonna shine because mm-hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, paying for ads is not going to reach the right people. Right. And then sometimes doing it just all organically is not going to reach the right people. But if you got like a, a hybrid of both of those, y- you got a good chance at making something happen. Yeah, you're oh, t- yeah. you t- you know? you taking off like a rocket at that point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we out of here. Hey. Peace. <laughs> I'm glad y'all, man, from Duluth, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What? Representing. Oh, I love yeah. that shit, man. Y'all yeah. made the drive out to the space by, man. Oh, respect. Yeah, Much think- love, man. Much love. Thanks again for having us. Yeah, it's four, worth. four hours, but you know it's worth it. Oh, yeah. And y'all got some things coming up. Let's get back to the music, yeah, right? Yeah, so we got a sh- yeah. uh, show tomorrow at uh, the Delta in, uh, what is it, West? It's just in Fargo. Oh, just, I guess, sorry. <laughs> I'm not from here. I don't know Fargo <laughs> like that. but Come yeah, out to the Fargo. Delta. They got a show going on, and that's one of many things you got going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got brought a bunch of boys from Duluth, got some locals, got some... Uh, underground locals from around here too it's it's gonna be a fun time we're excited man, hey, you include yeah. in the locals man see have to don't don't ever stop doing that even if it's one or two right you know like 
That's what it's that's what it's about. We want to connect game all these little pockets of music and you're not you're showing and proving that. Right. Yeah. I mean this isn't about me. This isn't about my homies came to perform. It's about everybody. Yeah. You know, it takes one person to uh you know, you can go to a show, do something, be selfish, get into a huge fight or something, that's gonna ruin hip hop shows oh, in that yeah. area for everybody. You know, everybody has to take care of everybody. You know what's interesting about that? That happens all the time. Oh, but yeah. I gotta tell you, the shows that I've been to I haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it's just different crowds running in different circles right. or whatever. But what you can do at all times is get security. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's huge. I mean, if you're a business person. Oh, yeah. Th- th- this is what you do. You get your, your venue, your sound, right. your security, your bar, yep. and you go. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about that shit the night of, right? Right. No. And I don't know what the not. shows are like in Duluth. Yeah. I mean, you know? Duluth. I love Duluth. Uh Usually hip hop shows especially run into a lot of conflict, but like you said, you know, you gotta evaluate your situation before you get into it and decide how you're gonna go with that. And like yeah, you said, if you need all that. Have a good security mm-hmm. crew, you know, have you know, all that. That comes with budget. Yes. You know. I mean, like I said, utilize your resources. Maybe you got a couple of really big That's homies. Right. That's right. You know, who are down to do security, throw them a couple bucks, buy them some beers, you mm. know, whatever. And most of the time they just wanna be a part of it. You know, a lot of my homies who aren't don't that's make music, up. don't you know, they just want to help out and be a part of it. And you'd you know, be, and you'd be surprised how many people want to do that type of shit, too. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, I sold something to someone off Facebook once on Marketplace, and he's like, oh, by the way, I know you're a musician, so if you need security, let me know. Yeah, and that's just what I'm talking about. It's just some big dude, like, people really want to be a part of these things, man. It's yeah. crazy how many people who are actually, like, out here trying to, oh, yeah. you know. Be a part uh-huh. of something. Well, because, uh, you know, one of my homies, he started Wicked Good Time, and that's what he was doing. Mm-hmm. He knew, utilizing his network, right. new dudes that wanted to do it was kind of big. They were running the door, and that was a year ago. Well, a year later, he's doing real well. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it doesn't always take a gang of money. Yeah, like you said, Paleon, people want to do this, and uh, right. let's make it happen. But, yeah, it, the more professional hip-hop shows can be around here, you know, from Winnipeg to Minneapolis right. to, right. you know, Seattle to fucking Chicago. The more... You know, the more we're gonna do it, cause we're not gonna stop doing shows. Oh no! But the more professional, like, right. more people will want to gravitate towards yeah. that. You know, and so. like, like I said before, learn from every situation. You know, you flop on a show, you have fight break out a show. Right. You can get pissed about it, which is pretty easy to do. But mm-hmm. like, what are you gonna do next time? You're right. Don't let yourself. You know, let there be a next time. Let yep. there. Be, what louder for the people? Let in the there back. be a next time. Oh my God! Hold on! Hold on! Golf claps, bitches. <laughs> but I mean, that's real. That's yeah. that's like the secrets of war, right there. Don't burn bridges if if you don't have to. Right. Absolutely. I feel and you. I, I think a good thing for like in this type of generation is to have your mind right before you even go at something like yes. that. Yes. Like do some meditation or mm-hmm. just like some, just sit in silence for a while and like visualize how it's gonna go. Right. And then you're gonna go in there and it's not gonna be so messy and you're not gonna be like, oh, this is so dis- disorienting right. and it's fucked. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause like that can happen yeah. if you don't have your mind state right before you go at something like that. Oh, right. absolutely. I mean, visualizing anything. Mm-hmm. You know what? Like, I was just talking about this with my roommates the other day. We were talking about thoughts mm-hmm. and like where do thoughts come from? Right. And it's such a weird subject, but putting thoughts. You have a million thoughts a day. Mm-hmm. All it takes is for you to put that thought into effect. You know, it's so yep. easy to think of things, but I don't. You know, why wouldn't you put that into effect? Man, Man, I feel you on that. Manifest it, you know, oh, for real. Manifest hey. it. That's my type of dude right there. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm Hell telling yeah. you, that's dope See because it. ain't nothing to it but to do it. Right. Yep. If you're thinking about it, what's stopping you from doing? It? Yourself. You got you got legs. You got yeah. arms. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. Man, I like that attitude, man. Yeah. The way That's I why see, you're getting things done out here. Appreciate yeah. it. The way I see it so. is like we're just a bunch of walking universes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The mind in like a scientific aspect cannot even be explained. Like it's just too yeah. vast. You know, for all you know, like you could be housing the entire universe right here. Mm-hmm. You're just walking around. Of course things are going to manifest. Right. If you hold the power to everything around you, of course they are. Right. So like be careful with your thoughts, man. Like, oh, yeah. Learn to be disciplined and like develop the right habits and shit. Because mm-hmm. like it, you can crash and burn pretty quick because that's how powerful you are. Like, oh yeah, your thoughts are so powerful they can just slingshot you into the abyss mm-hmm. vibration within seconds right. if you let it. So yeah, Ooh. and I I mean honestly, I feel like somebody who isn't familiar with manifestation at all, mm-hmm. especially you look it up on Google. 
Right. 90, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in the same boat. Ninety nine percent of the time, they're like, "This is horse shit." Like, what yep. are you? Like, yeah. I'm just, but, I'm all about working your ass off. Right, and that, but I you mean, can do both. It sounds like. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's part of manifestation. You know, you got to break it down into smaller pieces. Right. Yep. You, if I wake up tomorrow morning and I'm crabby as hell, and I go, you know, this show is going to be terrible. I don't want to do it. What do you think is going to happen? That's the attitude you're going to bring to that, everything you do, and you're going to that day, and you're only yeah. going to see everything with that in that in that state of mind that you're in blinders really exactly yeah it's like throwing blinds over your eyes feel you You you're just setting you're setting the energy for the rest of the day that's like stories of people who are like i was in traffic and this guy cut me off and i got really fucking pissed and it just like ruined my whole (laughs) day road raging like a champ and everything Mm -hmm. after that was just shit it's because of how he reacted to it oh you know Mm -hmm. so it's like you just gotta really and that, that, like, in the show aspect, that can really fuck you up. Oh, yeah. Like, it's all mental. Everything you know? is. So one bad reaction during your performance, you know, someone throws something at you. It could have been an accident. Mm-hmm. Right. And you you could have took it personally, and then a whole fight breaks out. You lose a bunch of fans. Mm-hmm. Your night goes to shit. It's because of how you reacted to it. Yeah. You got to have so, a whole lot of fuck it. Yeah. I'm yeah. a December oh, yeah. baby, so maybe I was born with it, and I'm biased. Yeah. But I'm just saying, brush that shit off your shoulder. You might be... Livid for two seconds, right? Mm-hmm. On to the next. Fuck that dude, or use it for inspiration. Yeah. I've had that happen where I, yeah. somebody pissed me off, and I was like, I can either go over there and handle that, or I create. I ended up creating a clothing line, right? With sayings on T-shirts, yeah. so That's now I can make money off of that. So be creative about it, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and I mean, really, you're still getting your point approved, and you're getting paid. Mm-hmm. You know, you're getting the bag. So mm-hmm. word up, <laughs> throw you- it in the bag, baby. And that, if you want to th- think of like what's the greatest revenge is when you switch up something negative and turn it into positive. That makes 100%. them go crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because There's of that like, positive, that negative die. Yeah. Take, really. Take control of that situation. You yeah. don't need to physically take control. You know, just like you said. Yeah. Control your mind. Yeah. Because if you don't control your mind, someone else will. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I feel you on that. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. You out here representing. Dude, give them the name of your company one more time. Co-Video. Andrew Co-Video. Andrew Co-Video. I'm yeah. telling you, we gonna flash that on the screen, man. Oh yeah. You at uh, what are some of your social medias that? Yeah, at Andrew underscore Co Video A N D R E W underscore C O V I D E O. That's what's happening. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Wonderful Family Entertainment at Wonderful Family E N T. Word. That's the crew. Um, yeah. And we can find you guys on YouTube, Twitter. Instagram, yeah. Twitter. Yeah. I pretty much for uh, Wonderful Family, I be posting all the videos of the homies that I shoot just on my channel. Oh, uh, Cove underscore video on YouTube. That's dope as hell. I appreciate that. Like, because right. what it does is it, everybody, like, they're so happy to be on your channel. You right. was happy to get the work too, and like, mm-hmm. woo, touching each other's fan base. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. like I said before, you can't, I mean, I'm not going to say you can't make it saying I'm going to do this by myself, but it's sure going to take a hell of a lot longer mm-hmm. doing it yourself. Oh my you God. Know? So, so visualizing that, it's like, one person carrying trying to build a house by carrying right. bricks, yeah, or a thousand people each carrying one brick, yeah. Wh- yeah, what do you think's gonna, you know, which one's gonna happen yeah, faster? Right. And then if everybody's talented, like you said in your squad, there's people that do graphics, mm-hmm. video, rapping. So once everybody has, it's a specialized world. So when they have their talent and they're good at it, and they keep getting better, yeah, dude, yeah, I don't even know what to we say. All Just pro- major we flex. Are- you know, we're all, we're all working hard, and we all progress every day, and it's a dangerous combination. A deadly combination. Now, do you see that progression? Every single day, I see it in everybody. You know, everybody's working. Everybody puts in 110%. Oh, yeah. And that's all you can ask. Yep. And you yep. see it in the quality of their work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we all Fire. we all push each other, you know. Uh, I love one, that. One of my boys makes a banger. Nobody else gets upset about it. They're like, all right, bet. Well, I'm going to get in the studio and make a banger, too. What's yeah. up? It's, oh, you know? shit. Yeah, that's so, it's, not, it's, yeah. it's nothing negative at all we all push each other you just build off of each other's success man yeah. that's how it should be man because yeah. like sounds like you found a, a good team yeah absolutely that's what's up mm-hmm. man that's that's, that's how it should be mm-hmm. when i'm thinking about it like why would i get mad that somebody else is doing something like that's fucking fire right. let's work as that team and that's your boy mm-hmm. you know i mean really we're a team but like I, you know, my brother wants to go do something else, so somebody else is not going to be mad. Like, we're here to help each other. You know, it's not even wonderful family. It's just that's who we are. Yeah. You know, and we, 
and it's more than that. We're you know we built brother and sister bonds, you know and that's I mean? cool that you can you know that's the mentality to have because if somebody gets dr- he got drafted, yeah, you know what I mean. He got he got a promotion or needs to do that for his own artistic nature. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can always come back, right? And there's always the internet that you can be like, yo, check this out, send him something, right? Yeah, one of, I mean one of my homies, you know, gets a deal. I'm, I'm gonna go crack a bottle and we're gonna go drink mm. on it. You know, we're gonna Man, go celebrate. Yeah. It's not about like I said. It's not about one of us. It's all of us. You know, we want everybody to win. God man, hell yeah. damn. Yep. I feel humble just listening to that message, man. I appreciate it. That's good shit. I mean. That's the type of shit we live for here, man. We we love it when people like this come on the show and, like, they actually share their mind. And, yes. you know, like. Like, I want to just keep listening. I know. <laughs> I know I have to ask questions, but I'm like, nah, Have you man, thought about writing talking. a book before? You know, I'm not going to lie. Never was a good English student. Wow. If I could have somebody else write it for me and yeah. I could just talk, see and there have you them go. Sitting right, absolutely. I'd Power in the networks, right there. Yeah. There's your example. I right think there. there might be a software for that. Probably <laughs> is. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should utilize that. But that's the that's the idea. You know, it's a specialized world. Mm-hmm. Somebody else can do the writing, but you got the story to tell. Yeah, yeah, I mm-hmm. like that. We should all write books. Yeah, and everybody's got a lot to say. Or we should at least all read books. I'm just yeah. saying more. Train lit- your brain. Yes, right. you know? more literature in general is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Like. Don't forget to read, and not just on your cell phone. Right, right. Say that one more time. What did you just say? <laughs> Don't forget to read, Okay. and not just on your cell phone. Damn right. Mm-hmm. I ain't even using my cell phone today because I'm taking an eye break because mm-hmm. goddamn, that shit will fuck your eyes up. Dude, if you it stare does, at you. for real. Mm, man. Digital detox. You need to know how dangerous this shit can be. Like, yeah. it's a double-edged sword sometimes. It, it, technology can be good. Technology can be bad. But, like, if you abuse it, just like mm-hmm. you can abuse junk yeah. food. It's the same concept. Yeah. You can you can really fuck yourself up. So be careful when yeah. you're on your cell phone and, you know, staring at them screens too long oh, and all yeah. that shit. It ain't good for you. I feel so. that making videos all the time. There you we know, go. I'm I'm like I said, I'm no I don't consider myself a director, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a DJ, a promoter. I consider myself an artist, you know, and when I'm feeling I don't just make stuff to make stuff. You know, when I make something for somebody, I want it to be my best work. Yep. And that can't be necessarily a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It could be any day of the week. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's... When you say this, all I want to know is tell us what you can about your process of video production. Yeah. Like when you first step in there, what are you thinking? What What's the first... When you first touch that pen to the paper, how do you do that? You know... Or the mouse to the screen. Honestly, whatever. I, I, <laughs> symbolism. Yeah. I found yeah. my my best technique, and most people would say that I'm dumb for this. I have a very very rough idea of what I'm gonna do, mm-hmm. and I literally just throw myself in the situation, and I make my best Bet. work doing that. Mm-hmm. I I'm you know you over. I feel like people over over complicate things too much mm-hmm. and overthink it, and, and overthink then you lose it. your creativity. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta let it flow as it goes. You know, I love that you jumping in feet first. Yeah, you, so gotta, you just got all these clips. Yeah, and and you just yeah start and, looking through them. Yeah, and even know. even when I go and shoot videos, you know, we have a rough idea. Maybe we'll you know have a couple of scenes you want to do, but same thing. But something always usually changes, right? Like you're just like, oh, we could also do that. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, you definitely went with the flow with that little drippy joint. Yeah, we. I, I mean, that was the first time I met those dudes. Cool right. as hell. Yeah. And uh, we just met up at that skate park and just shot a scene talk some ideas went spot to spot you know like you just got to make it natural you can't force can't force art you can't force relationships anything oh yes and when you don't it's just so much exponentially better oh yeah because how you live it comes to you naturally you're like yeah that's right on time with what how i would have did it right it feels good yeah absolutely i get you on that yeah yeah damn that's what's up yeah shout out shout out to the drip walk boys yeah, I they actually, I've actually known Gene for a minute. Oh, for real? Yeah, dude, like he went Genius. to school and my dad was out here promoting my music to the oh, kids yeah. and shit. And like he was one of the <laughs> fans and shit. So yeah, it was kind of cool when he came through. I was like, damn, man, the universe is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's real yeah, talk. Yeah. The universe has a plan always. For oh, yeah. Everything. Oh, yeah. That's why you should not force things. No, Just go with the never. flow, man. Just never. understand that everything has a bigger picture, you know? Yeah. So, so my thing is like, uh, what do you got coming up? So we talked about you got the show tomorrow. Yep. And then what about like future plans, projects? What what is oh, your I'm, ideas? Great minds talking about ideas. Yeah. I mean, for me, I have so many ideas. I really just need to 
write them all down. You know, I got some shows yep. coming up. We're working on one in Duluth hopefully soon. Uh, try and tap into Minneapolis. Maybe even definitely. Maybe even come up here, do some stuff up here. Hell yeah! And uh, there's money to be made, and there's a culture for it out yeah, here. Yeah, out here. Yeah, and I all the shows that we do, I personally I always try to bring out a local or two. Like mm-hmm. I said, I want everybody to be involved. You know what I mean? I don't want this yeah. to be just me. You know, I mean, I don't want to lose money, but it's not necessarily about money. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah. you on that. You should always be having fun above all else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. really, if you worry about the money too much, you're not. You, oh yeah, you're, worrying yeah, about that's another not, thing about the law of attraction, man. Don't worry about no, the let money. It flow. Because like when you worry about it, you're creating a lack in the mind. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, ah, oh, I got all this debt. Okay, universe is gonna be like, you want more debt? I bet I got you. <laughs> right, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I feel you. But um, shit. but yeah, tons of videos coming. Whole wonderful family team. Um, I've been making a little bit of music low key. I've dropped some stuff. I'm performing oh, tomorrow, word. actually. Yeah. Oh, for real? So uh, low key, maybe oh, wait. maybe Drew will have a video coming. We'll Aww, see. Oh shit. We'll see. Could be on the way. We'll see. Y'all be on the lookout. Yeah. And uh, we were just talking about on the way up. You know, Duluth has a huge opiate crisis. You mm. know, prescription pills, heroin with uh, the harbor there. It's a beautiful city. Right. With yes. the harbor there, you know, sex trafficking, drugs, you know, coming in and out of there. It's a problem. And we're uh, trying to figure out, you know, some drive or something we can do. Maybe a uh, show, awareness. you know, raising awareness, a show. We, you know, throw all the money to some organization or something, you know. Right. Help out the community a little bit. Like with once that. a year, you could even yeah. do something like that. Yeah. The one's just to start, you makes know, a figuring big difference. it out. Yeah. Man, I feel you. We need more of that. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was going to ask you how beautiful it was up there. And, uh, vis- it's gorgeous. Visually. Gorgeous. Yeah, right. But then you're saying like you got the harbor. That's, you know, it's a gateway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Duluth's one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to in my life. But, you know, every city has its own things. Yeah, and that's got to be inspiring for you when you go to do your art and you can look yeah. out the window and see that. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my happy spot. You know, I'm I got some some shit going on, or I need some uh, artistic juice. I'm gonna go sit by the lake, go look at the bridge for a little bit by myself. You know, mm-hmm. Ooh, and everybody in Duluth knows exactly what you're talking about yeah. right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody love that. Yeah. Wow. So a majority of the artists that you're working with were they originally from Duluth, or where are they spanning from? Honestly, yeah, everywhere. I okay. mean, a lot of the guys. That's up, what's up. A lot of the guys up in Duluth. Uh, Right now, you know, from Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul, uh, Wisconsin, okay. you know, just Midwest, you know, Chicago, yeah. you know, all coming together. And somehow we all got put together in one spot at the same time. Yeah, see. Shit. You know. So who are some of the artists that the, the viewers might know about? Yeah. Yeah, sorry if I forget everybody. There's so many. <laughs> hey, you uh, can't never remember sorry. them all. And I love writing stuff down, too. That right. was a key point. Yes. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with our backbone, Kenai Beats, mm-hmm. our producer. You know, you can't have a show. Shout you, out. You can't have a show. Mm-hmm. can't have music videos. can't have anything without the producer. Right. Hardest right. working man I know. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Dita Grimm. We have uh, Gay Nay, Luda True, my boy CDA. He was here earlier. We have, uh, I'm folding right now. No, you good, man. You so good. many. We have Exasion from here, mm-hmm. uh, one of our homies. We got uh, Rose, like I mentioned earlier. Yep. Inspiration, that's right. So, And then all the locals there, too. You know, in Duluth, like, you know, I mean, we like I said, we're, we're there for everybody. You know, I yeah. consi- we consider everybody family at the and, end of the day. And you're going to meet more people along this journey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Trapzilla. One of, that's what I was thinking of, of earlier. Yeah, I was like, who's yeah, that guy? Yeah, one of my good JCI? homies. Yeah. Because I remember the last time we talked, it was at JCI. Yeah, that was the first yep. time we put the face to the name. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Shout out Trapzilla. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's killing it. He just uh, he just moved to the cities, and he's doing his thing out there, and they're going crazy. He Hell opens yeah. up for... Uh, oh, I bet. He opens up for Trippy Red this next month, too. Nice. So that'll be dope. Yeah. And I've seen a Trippy Red show. We we showed one on the last episode, man. That that shit gets crazy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. It gets crazy. I'm just trying to go... I'm, I'm going to go shoot some photos and videos for... TZ and shit, but I'm just trying to go tee up, mm-hmm. you know, tee yeah. up with mm-hmm. tee up with the homies, That's have right. a good time. Man, hell yeah. <laughs> That's what it is too, man. You know, everybody's there's real people. Yeah, these are real people when you oh, meet yeah. them. Everybody comes out to the show, and some people are starstruck. Man, I go in there like that's just somebody I'm about to meet. Right. You know. 
Right. I mean, yeah, they they have moms, they have dads, they have real lives. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you'll be able to do that. You'll have the opportunity, you're saying, to go do that now. And uh, yeah, Minneapolis, shoot. Mm-hmm. That's going to be hot. Minneapolis is popping right now. Oh, God. Low damn. key. It's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's so many people. It's a hub of creativity. Yeah. I love it there. I'm trying to get down there pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, we are. We're already trying to get back down there. We were there for like four days or something. We were just like, yeah. okay, when's the next time we can go da- back oh, down yeah. there? <laughs> yeah. like, True. Oh, damn. True. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Hey, there. shout out Pizza Luce for keeping oh, the yeah. brother, oh, yeah. keeping the brother oh, nourished when it's two thirty in the morning. Oh yeah, we got Luce in Duluth too. We know about it up nice. there. Oh, you too lucky, man. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yo, Pizza Luce, come to Fargo. Right. We ready for you. That's official. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored. Right. Sponsor Sign us. It. We will gladly right. accept that sponsorship here on Space. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's been dope. That's cool, <laughs> man. That's the thing about Duluth. Y'all got a lot of stuff, like more than I realized, because you're on the border. Yo. Yep. Canada. And I always wonder what that culture is like. Like, we, yeah. we, we close to Canada, yeah. you know, but, like, what's that like up there? Yeah, well, Canada, Canada's still a couple hours away, but we border uh, right on Wisconsin with the lake. But, I mean, you know, Wisconsin's there's a beautiful. heavy Canadian influence in Duluth, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, and there's also a state's influence. So I just, I'm always interested in how those come together. And I think it can make for great art. You yeah. Know, the hybrid thing that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, absolutely. You got to, you know... I try to get all over the place. You know, I want to see things, look at different art. You know, you can't limit yourself to one type of music, one type of artwork. No. Nope. You know, nope. that's how you learn, you know. I mean, like you were saying earlier about reading books, too. That's one thing I was going to say earlier. Uh, yeah, read books. Learn from other people's mistakes. Don't make them your own. Yeah. You know, yep. learn something. Yo, love that. Read your goddamn books. Yeah. History- you heard it first on Space Pod TV. You heard it first. <laughs> Hard to see an Andrew Cole video. You know yeah, yeah, you bring in the truth, man, and we love that. We definitely love that. Uh, so you say you travel around to see, uh, you know, to be inspired for art. Where do you travel to? Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate, you know, uh, I got to travel quite a bit when I was a kid, just different states, seeing different things. Oh, man. And even now, like, if I'm feeling drained, you know, I'm up in Duluth, go to Min- or go back home to Brainerd for a little bit, mm-hmm. go relax, go to Minneapolis for a little bit, go stay with some homies. You know, you don't even have to travel far. You right, mean, you know, in Duluth we can nah. just travel up the shore thirty minutes, and, and there's it's completely trains. Different. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. there's ways to get around. Yeah, you know, that's what's up. And you know, I just I was I was kind of in awe when you said when you were coming up, you traveled so much because that's when you're growing. That's yeah. when it's really sticking yeah. in the brain. So there must be some real memorable spots. Oh from yeah, that. Shout, shout out to all the moms. Love my mom. Yeah, she's my shout hero. out to moms. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. They looking out. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. They truly looking out. Yeah. I feel you on that. Love you, mama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. So we out here at Space Pod. But, you know, you got to travel because, like I say, you can go and you can always come back home. Yeah. You know, we said that before. We'll say it again. Yeah. But what were some of your influences, again, that you said for uh, musically? It was, like, rock? Um, yeah, I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've been one of my favorite bands since I can remember. I you like know, them too. I pe- love Red Hot Chili Peppers. I don't understand peppers. people that don't like Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm not saying they're the greatest band. I'm just saying, how do you not like what? Right. The funk will never die. No. That's like a, a and Kid, uh, Kid Cudi too. I love Kid oh, Cudi yeah. since I can remember. His music is just you know. I love his uh, flex, low key. I remember first time hearing about dude, and I didn't know what to think. But the more you hear it, like yeah, you you start to understand. Right. Yeah. You know. I mean, not not easily accepted. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's a good thing though. Yeah. It can be a good thing. Right. He set himself apart. Right. You know, same with the Chili Peppers. You know, they're crazy as hell wearing dick socks. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nobody, everybody's looking at these. Reminds dudes. me of Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, everybody's liable looking at, to do anything. Yeah, and you know, it works for them. I'm not saying go, you know, do some crazy shit like that, but don't go slap your grandmama. No, I'm just saying, like, listen yeah. to some fire ass music that's inspired. Yeah, and be open. You know, let yeah. new things hit your ears. And don't shut mm-hmm. it down. Give it a chance. Give it an honest chance. Again. Yeah. Genre is not an option. No, never. Like, be flexible with that, because you never know. It might inspire your... That classical record might inspire your next hip-hop hit. Oh, absolutely. You feel me? Like, Mm -hmm. I feel you on that, too. Like, damn, yeah. So you got Kid Cudi, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and anybody else? Uh, For hip-hop, shit. Kid Cudi's one of... uh, Mac Miller, R.I.P. Mac Miller. R.I.P. Mac. You know, he just... He's hanging on the wall in the next room, too. right over here. But yeah, I mean, he's another one of those kids who was just a go-getter, and he did his shit. You know, like we always say back home, he just did the damn thing. Mm-hmm. 
You know, if, if you, you do it, it and you don't stop, yeah. you can be successful. Right. Yeah. And if you got some skill, then oh shit, man, it's gonna mm-hmm. get noticed. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, I like to listen to a lot of like slow like indie rock type stuff. Like I definitely had to be in the mood about you know, some girly shit, but like like nineteen seventy five. Nah, like did. I that I just it influences my music, influences my art. Mm-hmm. You know? I yeah, man, you. music is music, bro. Like everything can be beautiful. Oh yeah. Like it doesn't have right. to be a because I was when I was younger, I was kinda in that mind state where I was like, if it's not rap and it's not oh, gangsta, yeah. it's not cool, then right. I don't know if I should listen to it because <laughs> it might make me look a little different but it's like right. dude it does not matter at all no you know whatever makes no. you feel good and if it's affecting you in a positive way it can right. only be good right it can't just be bad for you so be yourself yeah oh yeah be there yourself, you go bro, like for real track one on my solo album was called be yourself yeah so i feel you on that it, like, and it should be number one most important thing be yourself i mean yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you know the, uh, these songs that can inspire like like i don't even i love rap and hip-hop until yeah. I die, I don't even listen to rap most of the time. Uh-huh. People will be like, "Yo, you heard that?" Nah, man, I've been listening to the jazz station, right? Yeah. <laughs> and making music, so it's a different yeah. too with creators and consumers, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, yeah, no, I feel you on that. The only song that probably, I mean, there's a few songs I probably ain't gonna say are inspiring, you know. Like if I listen to the Barbie Girl song from Aqua, <laughs> that might not inspire me, right? But you never know. It'll bring yeah. you back to the '90s. Which then may in turn blast, yeah, right. uh, mm-hmm. put you on a route to get get inspired. So mm-hmm. yeah, I'm a big fan of the '90s, man. Like mm-hmm. '90s movies, '90s cartoons, '90s music. Oh yeah, I want it all. Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I, <laughs> what's up with one hit wonders? Because some of them fuckers be good. Oh yeah, and you wonder why they didn't. I mean, if you can make one hit like that, you got to have at least one more in you. Yeah, right? Like, like come you only on. have one in the album. Yeah. Like what happened? <laughs> yeah. Go get right. another hot beat. Get uh-huh. a dope producer and mix the shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But then again, some people just want that one shot. They want that one time where they can make a bunch of money and then they can just yeah. fuck off. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a new sound too. I think <laughs> yeah. that's what happens a lot of times. Like it's a new sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And right. so when they hear it, the, when people hear it the second time, if you didn't grow as an artist, people will recognize that yeah. too. Uh-huh. And some people just don't think they have the capacity to just make another hit after they just oh, made yeah. something so big. When so. you're laying on a beach sipping margaritas, banging senoritas, you know, maybe you don't <laughs> care about music right. as much anymore. Right. So, right. Yeah, but I feel you. But no, music is lifeblood for everybody in this room. Yeah. So, uh, music is the good. basis of all creation, man. Right. The universe. It's a song, it's a mm-hmm. vibration. Yeah. So, like, don't ever underestimate the power, power of music, man. Mm-hmm. It don't matter what the world's going through. If you got the power of music in you, you yeah. can change whatever you want. Oh yeah, it's, it does not matter the magnitude. It doesn't matter. Like it's the most powerful thing. Yeah. So universal language. Yep. You ever seen? I'm trying to remember some dude. I remember seeing it when I was a kid on uh, America's Got Talent, and he had a super bad stutter. Mm-hmm. But when he was singing, his stutter just went away. Wow. You know, like it's a whole nother. I don't know realm. His bra- something. Another part of his brain took over. The yeah, subconscious. That's right. yeah. 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 Music. Music. I mean. Even look at all these rappers, rock stars, everything going on tour in Germany, going everywhere. Like, do they really know what these, you know, mm-hmm. these Americans are saying? You know, I yep. mean, it's a universal right. language. I think about that too. I, I'm happy you brought that up. Yeah. Oh, music is a universal language. Yeah, music is a universal language. I'm saying it again. God damn yes, it. Sir. I've been saying that since day one, man. Let me tell you, I think about that because my buddy uh, of Spanish descent, you know, he came over and he was like, just because you don't understand the words doesn't make it mean it's not good. And that's kind of the first time that. I had understood that concept because the flows duck in and out mm-hmm. of the music a certain yeah. way. So when we go over there and do they understand the words, I don't know. But if that guitar and kick is hitting. And they're having a good time, you know? Yeah. It's that vibe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, life is a trip. It really is. All day. Speaking of trippy, man, this dude makes some trippy-ass videos. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Man. I think that's kind of your forte, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I I always make my videos to what I feel like fits the artist. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I mean, psychedelic artwork, trippy artwork, all that type of stuff, since I was a kid, has always fascinated me. You know, I always used a lot of colors. Mm. You know, I always, yeah. and I just, you know, it's fascinating to me. Surrealism is something that always gets me, too. Yeah. And like watercolor. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, no no defined edges type of thing. Right. Man, yeah. speaking of trippy, how about that drippy, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out the Drip Walk Boys again. Yeah. Yeah, so this was you on the, on the let, video. Yeah, yeah, let the people know you, you held it down. 
Andrew Cole video. Yeah, yeah. Representing. Hell yeah. Oh, y'all like that shit? Trippy and drippy <laughs> music videos coming to you live. Mm -hmm. All right, one, one more time for the viewers. Uh, where can they find you on all platforms? Andrew underscore co video, Twitter. Instagram. You know what? I don't even add me on Facebook. I don't care. Man, you hell yeah. Andrew Schroeder. Wow. You know, YouTube, whatever. He's ready to get to know y'all. Yeah, let's get personal. Let's get make some art. Let's Man, hell yeah. you know. Let's change things. Let's yeah. boost the scene. Let's go. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Well, we appreciate you coming out, bro. Hey, thank you. And uh that being said, this is Space Pod TV. I'm your host, Paleo Invasion. We're here with the one and only Andrew Cole video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the squad in the back, you know what I'm saying? And we out. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Uh. Okay. In the 701. Do it for the humans. I'll be on the come up. Do it for the humans. And I'm making numbers. Do it for the humans. So I'm taking over. I better make it note of it in the 701. Do it for the humans. I'll be on the come up. Do it for the humans. And I'm making numbers. Do it for the humans. So I'm taking over.